the Abercrombie door. I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah, so do I. Um, so yeah, so I named him Abercrombie. Um, and then and then we have a new sound guy, and he's called. Sh Sh Whoa, that he's called he's called Sharon Snacks. He's called Aaron. Um, but he he came on tour. He's 18, by some. And the first thing that he did was, he'd never been on the road before, and the first thing he bought with him was a whole bag of snacks. Like, like the biggest bag of snacks. I'd been to the, the 99 cent store and just bought every snack in the store. So I named him Sharon Snacks, Sharon Snacks. And, uh, and that stuck. He doesn't like it, but okay. I, I've been called plenty worse. Um, uh, anyway, I wanted to, uh, I want to thank Peter um, for, uh, he understands, uh, how it is to try and uh, try and make as much money to cover costs, and, and he actually offered me hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, careful, uh, hundred dollars for my first ever EP, which has five tracks on it when I was sixteen. But we have five of those left, and none of them have a case. But I will send you for free, obviously, um, one of those five. But it doesn't have a cover, so. Uh, I, I'll have to make sure, give Brian your address, and it, it'll have to come from England, because they're only in England. So now there's only four left. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but I appreciate it. It meant a lot when I read that. So, um, so are there any questions? Yeah. Okay. What do you got? <laughs> it's about the music and the history. <laughs> where's, 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 we say that where's, word where's the boat? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we don't say that. About. 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 I hear about. <laughs> we don't say it. We, we, we say a boat. <laughs> Alright, carry on. Oh I don't hear it. I'm very self-conscious about that. Um, what was it about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anymore. You are a singer-songwriter, right? And now in the industry itself, uh, people are you know, coming up as being singers, songwriters, who do you find that's very prominent, um, you know, as far as, you know, big highs uh, right now that's a, that's, has become a very... very complicated <laughs> I think I'm just kind stumbling because I'm, because I'm on the about. <laughs> Alright, she's on a boat. <laughs> who do you think has become, has, that's really, um, that's, I guess you could say really famous right now. That's uh, that you find is a very strong songwriter. Um, that's also a singer. Um, I think we're both thinking about the same person. I don't know who, who are you thinking about? I'm gonna cheer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, he's doing really well. He, he writes really good songs. Mm -hmm. For a ginger, he's doing great. <laughs> how, how important do you think song songwriting is to an artist? Because there are a lot of artists that beyond uh, important, beyond important. If you want a, a long, if you want any kind of career at all, mm -hmm. write a song that can be listened to a hundred times without getting bored. You know. Um, because I was talking about this yesterday, and I, I don't, I got, I didn't. It's not like I get angry, but I'm very serious about yeah. this. Um, because um, some girls, you know, asked me about. Actually, a mum asked me about pretty much the same kind of question. And I went off on one of talking about One Direction and um, any One Direction fans. Uh -huh. or, <laughs> like awkwardly just there's like no, uh, there's no pressure. They they seem like the nicest guys ever. Unbelievably good looking guys. I don't blame you for for being fans of them um, <laughs> at all. You know, um, but you know there's different ways of looking at yeah. it. And and the way I've always looked at it at it even from from an early age is that I wanted to write really good music. Yeah. And my my influences were like James Taylor and Cat Stevens. Mm -hmm. And um. You know, and also Jason Mraz, Jack Johnson, like people that write real, real songs. You know, write and their so own. right, and so I always aspired to, to be that. And yeah. I was offered a, a record deal when I was 19 to, to sign with Sony, um, and I ended up not taking it, even though it was for a stupid amount of money, and I probably should have done. Thinking about it now, <laughs> um, but they wanted to do something that I didn't want to do, um, and and I I wanted to write my songs and yeah. release them. So, um, so. Yeah, I, I, I feel like it's it's the talent and the songs that are gonna get, get gonna get you a career, you know. Um, you know, and I was comparing Justin Bieber to One Direction because a lot of people put the the two in like the same kind of bracket because they have a very similar fan base. Um, but I also think that Justin Bieber is far more talented than any of the the One Direction boys could ever be. 
And I feel like he's going to have a much longer career than One Direction. You know, they're, they're hot right now. Um, but uh, who knows in a year's time? You know? I mean, who's Cody Simpson? <laughs> don't, don't video this. <laughs> If you, if, you, if you put this online, um, um, that'd be devastating. But um, you'll never be on Twitter again. Yeah, <laughs> I, I might get bashed by it, okay, whatever. Um, you know, I'm not bashing them. I'm just saying yeah, the honest truth. Yeah. I feel like they—they, how long will they last? Question mark. Mm -hmm. um, and whoever this Austin Mahone guy is, I keep saying, oh my God. Oh my God. I keep saying his face, <laughs> and it's like it's painful to watch. It's because certain artists are writing their own music be, can be more successful, or is it that when other people are writing? Honestly, um, it, 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 it can be either or. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you write, you can be successful writing your own stuff, you can be successful not writing your own stuff, um, you know, and vice versa. Yeah. But it, it's just, I guess it depends what kind of success you want okay. and how long you want that success to last. Um, and my answer is that I want it to last as long as possible and I want it to be a credible um, success where people really enjoy the music. Um, I'm trying to use it. You know, for what it is. I, I think watching you and knowing that you write your own songs has makes me that much more, like idolize you that much more because you have that, <laughs> you have that integrity to put your music out there. Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So is that, has everyone seen the one, um, the, uh, Got one direction on the mind. <laughs> Think about, about it more. Like, right, so. um, Tim Hart starts beating video. So yeah. 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 Cool. I'm so pleased with how that came out. That's um, nice. That was a big project. Um, and Tamman was so amazing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. She's one of the people you meet where. Yeah, she's one of the people you meet where you kind of meet her. And the first 30 seconds, you really actually can't say anything. You're just stunned at how pretty she is. I was just kind of like. Hello. Like Molly? Yeah. Sorry? Like Molly? <laughs> it's a different kind of beautiful. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, um, Molly is my girlfriend. And my dog. I have a dog. Molly. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone, uh, has it, was anyone on the chat where I introduced my girlfriend? That was so cute. She, 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 she asked, asked you if you like sloths. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love sloths. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I keep my private life very private. I, we've been dating for two years. Um, and, and really, only more recently, um, have I kind of you know introduced her to the fans and um, did did anyone Google my girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I'm doing it. <laughs> She's <Great> pretty. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, she was in a film when she was 19. Um, yeah. You're not, not, not anything, like not anything pornographic. Literally like one of the only images like <laughs> Nothing pornographic. No. At all. It was in it was in it was in like a legitimate um, film. Euro trip. Um, yeah. She just happened to be topless. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's in like oh, <laughs> naked chicken. What a, what a great film! Huh? It really was. I remember watching it as a kid, thinking, God, I wish I had a girlfriend like that. And, and there you boom. go. Yeah, <laughs> what you wish for. Um, so yeah, I miss, I miss her um, a lot, and uh, she also has two children, and I miss them. Uh, that's that's. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's a bit. Let, let's say uh, it's been a roller coaster of a year. Um, <coughs> didn't think my first girlfriend would uh, ever have kids. <coughs> but hey, next question. <laughs>